Hello Primary 2 students. Today we are continuing our theme about environment of living things and our lesson today is about body parts that help animals eat in their environment. Listen to this funny story. One day I went to the pool in my school uniform. What? I can't? Why not? You're actually right. Every environment has different needs, so when I go to the swimming pool, I need to be in my swimming suit and when I go to school, I need to be in my school uniform. The same thing is with the animals and their body parts in their environment. Remember what environment is? Environment is everything around us, the place and the things, whether living things or non-living and every animal has body parts to help it get its needs in its environment. Let's quickly remember the needs of life. All living things need air, water, food and shelter. Today we will focus on the need of food. What do body parts help animals do? They either help animals get food from places high like trees or deep like soil or chase food and catch it if it's another animal. Getting food from particular places such as deep places like the soil will need something pointy and thin like a beak. Different birds have different beaks depending on what they eat. There are also places that are high like trees and those require body parts like the long neck in the giraffe or the trunk in the elf. Other body parts help animals chase food. Of course, that's if an animal eats smaller animals. They need strong legs to run fast such as the lion, strong wings to fly fast and eyes for sharp sight to see the prey such as the eagle. Of course, these animals also need parts to catch the food, such as the sharp claws. Please pay attention that the claws are the parts like the nails. And sticky tongue, such as the reptiles. The sticky tongue helps frogs and other reptiles catch flies. Now that the animal has already caught its food, it needs body parts to help it eat. Different beak shapes, for example, help different kinds of birds eat different things. Some birds eat worms, some birds eat seeds, so every beak is different as we said. Also sharp teeth in wild animals to eat meat and white teeth to help animals that eat plants. Now let's give examples on each animal separately. Lions run fast after other animals. They also have sharp claws to catch the animal. And finally they have sharp teeth to eat meat of the animal. Also look at this bird. It's called the pelican. It has a big beak that looks like a pouch to help it collect fish from the water. Up next is the picture of a chameleon with the long sticky tongue to help it catch flies. And as we said, elephants eat off the high trees, so their trunks help them grab the branches to put them in their mouth. Now take a close look at this golden eagle. The golden eagle has strong eyes with very sharp eyesight to help it see its prey clearly from the air. It also has strong wings to help it chase after the prey quickly. Strong talons or claws help it catch its prey. And finally, its sharp beak helps it eat meat since it has no teeth. You probably guessed that this golden eagle eats smaller animals. 
Thank you for attending this session.